Adoma. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the Honda, please help me subscribe to my channel. Click that bell notification so every time I have new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2005 Honda Accord 3.0 Hybrid. Uh, the uh, check engine light's on, and the code is for the uh, gas pedal, P2138. This is the uh, accelerator position sensor, A and B. I'm gonna show you the data on the uh, gas pedal sensor. The uh, voltages, continue. There you go. Now, sensor A and sensor B. So when I give it uh, throttle, the uh, voltages is not even changing anything. Nothing is changing. You can hear I'm revving up the uh, engine and the voltage stays the same. A and B, you can see nothing changed. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. I have my uh, new part here. I bought this one from uh, AutoZone. Uh, this is Dorman. This is the uh, part number right here for the uh, gas pedal position sensor. Now it looks like this. Now this one is not located where the uh, gas pedal is. This one located on the outside. So every time you hit the gas, this cable will pull and this uh, sensor will read the uh, voltage right here. Uh, you're gonna need to take out the cover. The cover sits like this. There's two bolts, two 10 millimeter, and then you can remove it. For the uh, sensor, uh, it's gonna cost you around 170, 180. I bought it my price, 100 bucks. Now to get access to the whole assembly, uh, for the uh, connector here, you're gonna press on this tab and pull. For the uh, hybrid cable, you're gonna press on this tab, pull to the side. Same thing to this one. You're gonna press on this tab, pull to the side, take out this bracket. There's a 10 millimeter right here holding onto it, and then you can reach under and get the 10 millimeter bolt because uh, the bolt the bolt is mounted uh, upside down. So you're gonna have to get the bolt. You see the bolt is upside down. So you're gonna move the two cable to the side and then reach your hand under and get it out. For the whole assembly, what I did is I uh, take out the uh, three 10 millimeter from uh, under, upside down right here, reach my hand down and break the uh, three bolts loose. And then after that, you can take out the whole assembly. And then uh, I believe this is a uh, 12 millimeter or 14. And then you're gonna break this nut loose a little bit to get the uh, cable out. Now, once you get this nut to be loose, uh, press this uh, part down right here to remove the cable out of this uh, little hole slot right here. Move this down and then move the uh, cable out. And then take, take the uh, cable out. Do not uh, adjust this bolt. Leave this bolt alone. All you need to do is just adjust this bolt. Put this aside. Take the uh, two 10 millimeter on the bottom of the uh, sensor out and then put the uh, new one in. Now I got my uh, new parts in already. Now, if you guys want to adjust the throttle, um, make sure you guys don't have them too tight or not too much slack. If it's too much slack, uh, when you step on the gas, uh, the uh, cable will pull back. And then, uh, if it's too much slack, when you step on the gas, it'll be delayed. But if it's too tight, you barely step on the gas it'll rev up right away so you don't want it too tight or too much slack uh, for the old part I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is OEM but this is the uh, part number and I'm not sure if it's original from Honda now I'm gonna put the uh, um, the whole assembly back so I got my whole assembly in already. Uh, make sure you guys check the uh, connector. Make sure the pin inside is not corroded or bent. Uh, make sure the wires in the back are good. It's not broken or ripped. Uh, I just found out there's two bolts right here that you can take out the whole assembly, but I'm not sure if it's enough room for you to take the whole big bracket out. So uh, there's two bolts holding onto the whole bracket. So there's one bolt right here and one bolt on the side. So you're gonna take out the whole big bracket with the assembly. So if you're taking it out that way, but uh, I didn't pay attention. There was uh, two bolts right here 
So I just went the other way. It took me like two minutes to take it out anyways. But uh, I'm gonna put my uh, cover back and the uh, two bolt back. Well, I got everything back on already. The cover, I put back the uh, hybrid cable. Now I'm gonna clear the check engine light. Right now I have the key on. I'm gonna clear the check engine light. So uh, when I key on, the check engine light went away. But when I try to read the code again, the code is still there on the uh, permanent. So let me show you. There you go. That's the code P2138. So like before I told you, when I type this code in the computer, it says incorrect voltage when I uh, try to read the data. So right now I'm going to clear it. Let me see. Temporary. No, only permanent. So I'm going to clear the code and read the data again. go code clear continue let me turn off the car turn it back on there you go now my car is idling so I'm gonna go to data I'm gonna show you the uh, data again for the new one so when I step on the throttle the voltage go up and down so uh, let me show you so that's my RPM right there. It says how many. There you go. You can see it's going up. So let me go down to the uh, data on the sensor. There you go. This is the data on the sensor. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle. You can see the, the number changes. The voltage changes. You can see it. See when I rev it, it keeps going up. Like before the uh, data you see how it changed before when I rev it up tap on the gas a couple times hit it a couple times uh, the number on the voltage doesn't change at all it's completely dead so my new one is working so uh, that is it for this video guys so if you guys are new to my channel please help me subscribe if you guys have any comment question comment down below ask me anything you want to ask me I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible but uh, no my I'm out peace